Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had seen how to make use of conditionally if condition in our OIC integration mapper that is for conditionally processing of data. If you have not watched our previous video, please check out the video. Link is in card section. In this video, we are going to learn how to make use of choose and when combination in order to conditionally process the data in OIC integration mapper. Before going directly into the hands-on, let me walk you to the documentation page by w3.org on conditional processing with XSL choose. Here w3 has provided the syntax. First we need to have a choose element within our XSLT. Then we can have XSL when XSL otherwise. XSL when it is similar to if condition wherein instead of if we provide the when but this will be bound within this choose tag like if we have to provide the condition within this test attribute here we will have option for otherwise it is similar like if and else if we have a scenario where we, we have, will have multiple if condition then we will have to repeat this when multiple times as many times you have the conditions to be checked and else will be otherwise all those will be bound within the choose like the sample provided over here so our choose is a starting tag and the ending within that we will have multiple when conditions and one otherwise this otherwise will occur only once but when can occur one to n number of times based on the condition that we have i will remove this if and implement similar use case with the help of choose and when that is whenever the value of this condition is first i'm mapping attribute one to result whenever the value of this condition is second i'm mapping attribute two to result let me switch over to code view first i will delete everything from here before editing it manually let me map this attribute one to result validate now switch over to the code here i will write xsl choose xsl when test is equal to now we have to end these tags let me end the when tag let me end choose okay now the condition what we check for mapping attribute one to result is the value for condition element must be first if not if the value of the condition tag is second then i want to map it to attribute two if the value of this condition is neither first nor second in that case we have to go for otherwise i think i have spelled it wrong otherwise let me copy this paste it over here let me copy the value of from here and paste it let me indent this properly now i will remove everything over here and i will write condition value is not proper fine click on validate i think i have missed something that is the quote here over here I'm providing it over here and clicking on validate yeah validated successfully click on test here now the condition value is second let me hit on execute now attribute to value is assigned to result now suppose if i change this to first and click on execute value is coming as 116 attribute that is nothing but the value of this attribute one suppose if my condition value is neither first nor second let me put it to third now we should get that otherwise value condition value is not proper now we had seen how to do this manually let us now learn how to do similar thing from the graphical user interface i have removed everything now expand this xslt right click on this and create a target node now click on choose and drop it over result so in when i have to drop this condition over here and check for whether this is first validate this mapping if it is first map it to result Now click on when, drop condition over here and check for 
if the value of this condition is second click on validate in this case we have to map it to attribute 2 click on validate okay so in first we are checking with the condition is first we are mapping it to attribute 1 in second condition we are checking whether the value is second we are mapping it to attribute 2 now suppose neither condition element is first or second in that case i'm dropping this otherwise over here now here instead of mapping it to some element in the source i will hard code the message like condition value not proper click on validate validate the mapper go over to test now the value of this condition is third click on execute we have to get the hard coded message condition value not proper now i will change the value to first click on execute i'm getting the value of attribute one okay when the condition value is first now let me change the value of condition to second click on execute i'm getting the value attribute 217 which is nothing but value of attribute 2 up to result so like this we can make use of choose and when in our oic integration mapper and conditionally format the data please do like this video and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining us in this video